All right, we are in the uh, 2023 Halloween tournament. We're in the uh, weekend round. I'm in my odd-odd account, and I played this week in uh, pro. So I have no idea what the scores are going to be at the top. I can tell you that uh, there are a lot of these holes, especially in rookie, that you can bring out some of these newer balls, and this course is... Like, shit, there's people at the top that are crazy scores. 30, minus 36, minus 38, minus 35, minus 37. <laughs> and then there's a few people that are just over 30. And then there's a shitload of people that are 30. And, like, I think, I'm not sure what it took in my in my rookie account. It took, like, a 27 just to qualify. And I'm not sure how many 27s didn't make it. So it's pretty tight. In expert, I'm sure it's probably the same thing, but in pro, we're in that in-between where we have that extra 30 yards from the second tee, but we don't have the big enough wins. So we'll just have to see what the deal is. I still think that getting a 30 in pro, like if you really went for it on the stuff, is definitely possible. Definitely. There's enough holes out there. I mean, I think probably the same scores that you're seeing in rookie are probably possible if you really got a hold of a round. But I'm... I'm shooting for 30. That's my goal. I'm trying to pick up and I haven't um, I have not achieved that. So we got to get we got to get on it. All right, hole number 1. Let's go look at it. I think hole number 1, we 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 definitely need to pick one up right here. I mean, we have to. I mean, there's just no two ways around it. I'm going to take a 3 power ball just for See, let's make sure I got some my bags are set up right. I got a rock with a Goliath, got a big Tupper, got a Thor's hammer with a Goliath. I'm gonna take that bag right there. Uh, let's see. I can probably, I could probably take that ball. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take a Kingmaker just to, just for the side spin. And I'm going to do a 20% adjustment on the drive. So I'm at max club, so it's 20% times the win divided by 1.5. Play golf. We have to get an eagle right here. So there's like no two fucking ways around it. No two ways around it. Sorry about that. No two ways. The flash. The flash. It was cold at my house this morning, and it got, like, just here a few weeks ago, it was pretty hot, and, and it got uh, cold real quick here, real quick. Four point eight rings. There's four eight. I'm going to put a little bit of curl on it. One ring great to the right. Now it's all about whether I made a good pull. <laughs> Perfect. I was playing, and, and I will tell you in rookie, I haven't played my 77 account. I'm supposed to. I've talked to Kyle, my buddy Kyle Brady, earlier today, and we're going to try and uh, play 88 and 77 tonight. And he's been shooting. He's been one of the ones that's been shooting the 35s, 36s. So we'll see how we do. I shot a 30. I freaking totally tanked the front nine in the opener and then shot a 17 on the back. I dropped a shot off minimum score on the front and I was able to go back and get on get somewhat but that you shit you got to score so low you can't afford to be dropping shots off minimum score in in any division it doesn't matter where you're playing i know like minimum score doesn't seem like it's much but if you go back and look at all the holes that you like like i didn't get what i wanted or how many shots you dropped off minimum score you got to make minimum score every time i, don't, I just do not like that <clears throat> Perfect. 
in the hole, in the hole, and the wind was a factor. It pushed me off the flagpole. If I'd hit that great to the right, it would have missed even from that distance. Probably could have caught a two ring great to the left, and it might have made it. Sometimes when you're running toss down, you get into these little moguls where it's starting, the, the ball guide's doing S's and it's doing stuff, and you're really caught up in the, so your speed's really important. If you wash out of one of those just a little bit too fast, it'll, you can end up missing the cup on those. In the hole! All right, can't get too excited. We had to get hole number one, so we achieved our goal on hole number one and my opponent. Whew, that's what I'm talking about right there. I wasn't watching them set their shot up, but it felt like if I tried to run the toss when it was not, it might go off trajectory. Hole number two. All right, my notes say sniper navigator, or let's see which way the wind's blowing. So we got side wind. So it's a sniper navigator. Three backspin, one right hand side spin, plus 20 to the cup. I was doing, I don't know, I wrote minus 10. But I think that's in Ricky. I'm not sure that that's what I need. To, uh, the, the adjustments to the cup here are not what they've been in the past. Two times. Mm. Okay, sniper nav. Well, here, let me go back and make sure I got a sniper and a nav. I don't want to have to pick my ball out there on the course. Fuck, it takes forever. Navigator. Navigator. Sniper. All right, three backspin, one right-hand side spin. And I'm hitting it at max club. I think if I bring out a three power ball, I can get to, I can get my grizzly up there. But that really only works on tailwind days. If you got a headwind day, and you're trying to push, bring out a bigger ball for your long iron, you may not, you may have to bring out a bigger ball. I go first. What's the wind? 5.9. Okay. Three backspin. One. Three and one. Seven point. Jeez, oh, I gotta fucking pull over the sand. I let it roll back a little. It was the it was falling over one of those corners. Man, I just barely made that. <clears throat> Go back there and rewind that video right there. That that bounce was super close. It was when it at some point going through that sand, it dropped and it like jumped like a half a ring. So I rolled it back over. I put a little bit back on that. That was not a uh, smart move. What I should do on a day like today where you got to pull like that is either get like more where my opponent's at, bring out a cataclysm or a club that's got a, where you don't have to move it quite as much, or go over to the other side and just get up, <clears throat> get your birdie, move the hell along. I've had a lot of success on this hole right here with the rough bump, and you can do the rough bump with the, with the driver. I mean, there's nothing stopping you from doing it. And today's wind is actually pretty good for it because it's moving along that rough. And that rough bump is nice. Would have been better than that shot right there if I'd have hit the rough. That's the, th that's the key thing with your driver is you got to hit the rough. Ooh. 
I'm going to give it with the Thor's hammer. It's got a good ball guide. And it's a little more accurate. Let's see if my opponent can get in the hole. Get in the hole! <clears throat> in the hole! I should have took that with my rock. I should have, that's what I should have did was I should have played that with my rock this week and did the rough bump with my rock. I would have had a much, much more fun playing that hole. So on the back nine, I'm definitely playing it with my driver. Hole number three. What? Okay. We have a serious opportunity here on hole number three to, to get an Albi because we can get to the exact same spot and you can get in Ricky and we want to be right here with a three side spin ball and I'm going to bring a Katana. Now, in pro, it might be helpful to have, and I want to make sure I bring my sec, my long iron, so if I am in between, I want to be, the, the Goliath gives me no red line, so like I'm in wood, and if I'm in the wrong spot, like if I overhit it, and I'm in that spot where I'm in between on the red line, the red line is non-existent in the sniper, you're in sniper, you're in Goliath, and so I'll be able to use one of the two. And I'm going to take a three side spin katana. Katana. Three side spin is very important. Very important. One less than max top spin, 1.7 per ring. And I've been doing like plus 20 times. <clears throat> Here we go. I go first. 6.5. 4.58 rings. One less than max. And I'm going to do a little less than that. I was long in the opening round, and I don't want to uh I don't want that to happen again. 4.58 rings, 4.6 rings. There's four. Six. Lean just a little. I'm getting fresh. I'm getting fresh with the nubs on the right hand side. And that's a little short, but that's fine. That'll probably put me like mid club. And mid club will be fine. Mid club is one point one point one. I'm doing plus ten to the cup. So if I'm in my sniper and I'm at mid club, it'll just be whatever the wind is. <coughs> we will see. Times. All right, we need to hit this perfect. There, there's a funnel there, so I could hit it and. And I've always had more luck hitting it great to the right than great to the left, but like I don't want to hit it great. I want to hit it perfect because there is a serious ass shot of it going in the hole. I don't want to have to use the funnel. I want to just put it in. <laughs> okay, there's max. There's min. There's there's mid. So I'm just gonna do the win 5.5. Five rings. There's five. Five. Exactly. Isn't it perfect? Get in the hole. Get in. Get in. In the hole. Look at that. <clears throat> That's what I'm talking about right there. Win the hole. 
I was sliding that right hand side. Maybe it's great to the lefts that go in here and not the great to the rights, but there's one, that funnel you get your it has a little bit of leniency to it. Nice. I helped my opponent out. They could have they might have made that. That's a that's a makeable shot, but they didn't have to. Help them out. Look at that. Looky looky. Blind squirrel finds a nut. All right, we picked up two in the first three. That's what we needed, but we had to get hole number one, so picking up hole number three was definitely the key there, so. All right, we gotta pick up at least one in this next three hole set, so here is the duck hole, and I've been playing this just dinking around. I haven't brought out anything big, but today might be the day. Let's look at this hole. Okay, without having to do like the idea is not to have to do any overpower so obviously you're gonna have to hit off of this little G string of shit right here and my notes say my notes say a plus 10 to the cup but I don't think I think I wrote that down this like that was my beginning number but it seems like it's a little like maybe plus 20 I did hit one perfect in here and it ended up pushing me off in the sand. There was like, I was had one ring and it pushed me off the half a ring on the one side and got me into the sand. So I think it is bigger than 10. I'm gonna really erase my plus 10 and write plus 20. We'll try that. The deal is, is getting far enough in your shot so you don't have to do overpower so that you can get around this bin with side spin and top spin. And I, I think like with a three power ball, you're back in here. So like if you're looking at your, you're here. So you got to push the shot forward in order to get into this window. And I think with a five power ball, I may not have to do any overpower, and I may be able to use this wind. It would be nicer if the wind was running like along the deal, so that we could just leave the wind in and and push us up. We'll have to see how the deal is. I'm gonna go for it today, and it's pretty close to doing that right now. I'm going to bring a five power ball just for giggles. Let's see what I have for five power balls. I don't have many and I haven't, I don't think I really burned anything big this, this week. I don't want to use those top spin balls on this. I think just maybe a regular berserker might be the way that might be, that might be. I'm going to bring an APOC. That's the farthest hitting, raw hitting distance that I have. All right. 1.2 on the drive times whatever the wind is. Here we go. Here we go. I have very little notes on this because I've been hitting it to the other side and I wrote, I was doing plus 20 to the cup, or I was doing plus 10 to the cup. I don't know that I hit a perfect one. Make sure I make a note here. Plus 20 on the drive. All right, come on. Now, I haven't made this all week because I haven't really uh, been putting any effort into it. Let's see if we can, get, let's see if a little bit of effort pays off. I go first. Six divided by one point five point two rings. I need to be right. Okay, six. 5.14 rings. And I hit it one ring great to the right. 
it's on the wind side so if i pulled it wrong nope just just clipped it now a perfect would have hit would have been just right would have been perfect so a plus 20 on the drive i think is where i'm gonna go and we'll have a shot at the cup here I don't know if I have enough side spin to get me around. I might have to use curl. Now that would have been a good hole to bring up precision ball on just to hit because you're in that narrow spot. You a perfect is the only thing that will work. And they ended up in the rough. What kind of shit is that? Two times. All right, here we go. Let's see where we're at. There's Max. So I'm in max, it's 6.6 .6 divided by two, four rings. Four rings, four rings. We're gonna have to put curl on it, so this is like the hope and the prayer type shot. Hit a one ring, two ring, 75 rings, great to the left. Let's see if I have my distance right. My distance looked good. If I'd have been on trajectory there, I, that would have rolled out nice. Nice! I, I didn't, I, from where I was at, that was a that was a pretty decent look at it. If I'd hit that perfect, I hit it two rings great to the left. If I'd hit it perfect, it would have been pretty pretty close, pretty close. Get myself a look from a bad spot, the duck hole. I've had miss, mixed luck. We're gonna catch. I'm gonna catch this on the back because this is one of those holes that you really like. You really need to get this hole, but. Like if, at least catch it once every side or once every other side. And in the weekend round, we're going to have to pick this one up. This is a hole we're going to have to at least have on our register at least once. And for some reason, Playdemic doesn't allow us to rewind our shot and retake it. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, I would have liked to have been in too, dude. I know the deal. It's all that drive. That was the whole deal. Didn't execute one shot. I only had to do one shot that I had to have right. And I didn't get it. All right, hole number five. What is hole number five? My notes say sniper navigator. This must be one of the par threes. This is that one. Now, for some reason, I'm thinking, I was thinking I was hitting from over here, but it put me from over here. I don't know if I really like hitting from over here. I think I'd rather hit from over on this side with like a quarterback. If I mean, if that's what it takes, if I have to hit with a driver, I would rather hit from over here than put the sand and run the whole shit up. Maybe. Which way is the wind blowing? Which way is the wind blowing? All right, well, we don't have to deal with the sand today, but we do have to deal with the hill. Let's practice this hole. Let's practice hole number five one time. I just want to see... I'm, the deal is I'm conf I'm confused because like in rookie, you can get over to the other side and you're hitting it with a sniper, and then here I think, shit you may be doing it with a grizzly, but I'm not sure if I can get over to the other side here. I'm all confused because I'm playing rookie and pro, so I I this hole right here I I got jacked up when I was playing the rookie round. Now I'm, now I'm jacked up again playing the pro round. If I can get an opponent. If. The big IF. Less Frenchkiss. 
dreaded den. Jerome goes first. We are hitting it on that side with a sniper. Okay, it's 4.7. My opponent did 4.7. And they're leaning to the left. And they hit a perfect. And they needed to pull it a little. So you can hit it with a sniper on the other side with a nav. You don't have a lot of room for headwind days if you wanted to tighten it up from here. I don't know if I have enough backspin. Nope. Coming in too hot. So I would imagine even if I came in with a rock here. Ah. Oh, it's too far forward. You're gonna have to. I'm gonna have to hit it from this side right here, with the uh, three back spin, quarter right hand side spin. Okay, I will hit it from right there, and I'm gonna do a, my notes say to do a twenty percent. So I'm gonna do twenty percent times the wind divided by. Shit, that's... Am I in... Where am I? There's Max. There's Min. Shit, I'm eking Min. I'm going to do mid. That's 1.1 divided by 1.1. It's 2.3 rings. Three. And a sliver. Three and a sliver, or excuse me, two, three. There's two, three. Hit it perfect. I did a 20% at mid, and that was definitely wrong. That was definitely wrong. Oh, I know what I did. Oh, shit. Okay. That was right. <laughs> I did that wrong. Plus 0.1. Okay. I have a... <laughs> I put in a variable for the win. Shit. Am I, am I actually shooting content here for you guys, or what's the deal? Let's try it out. I had a variable in there for the wind, and I looked down, and I just used that number, and I didn't actually put the actual wind in there. And the variable I had was two. <laughs> I think the wind was six. <laughs> so I definitely didn't pull it enough. Definitely, definitely. Kmart sucks. <laughs> kind of Ricky, <laughs> what kind of Ricky move is that? Damn. Hole number five. Three backspin. Boomer. Boomer bomb. My opponent is using a three power ball. They got backspin boost. I suppose that would work. Well, they're up high enough on the hill, you can see their tail is. But you can see you can see where they're at. Every little micro movement wags the tail away from the cup. So like you move just a little micro movement and it moves your tails moving. And so if you don't hit in absolutely the perfect spot, that hill blows. Blows. There's a spot down there at the bottom that's somewhat flat. It, I'm not going to say it is flat, but it's somewhat flat. Somewhat. 
be in a sliver. Six point eight, seven point five one rings. That sounds better. There's seven five one exactly. Isn't it perfect? Let's see if I can get even close. Close. And I'm not sure. I did a 20% there and I'm not sure like pulling it another 10. I'm gonna do plus 30, plus 0.1. On the back and we'll see if that we can get any, if we can get a little closer. I'm not counting on there are some of these holes I I haven't been. If I could make one of these holes even once in the in the entire round, I'd I'd be pretty excited about it. All right, we have to make this one. We have not made a hole yet in the middle section, so we've got to get we got to pick something up right here. Hole number six. All right. I don't think, I'm not sure, let's see which way the wind's blowing. I'm not sure if we have enough oomph and pro to get over there. As far as like getting the wind on our side. The wind is definitely blowing on our direction. This is another hole. I'm just curious if, I, if I brought out my big boy stuff, if I couldn't get over to the other side. Especially if I could use the wind. That is the biggest thing that I have. Let's try it. We'll, we'll try it. If that doesn't work, then I'll just switch to Katana and just lay it up over on the other side. If I can get over to the if I can get over to the other side, I'm pretty sure there's an adjustment over there. In rookie, I've been in the right spot on the other side twice, and there was an adjustment to the cub. Let's go for it. Let's see if we can make it. See if that wind's big enough. Nine seven. That's a whole ring set. Isn't it perfect? If it makes it, it makes it. If it doesn't, it doesn't. That's as that is as good as I could have got it. Look at that shit. That is awesome right there. What's my opponent using? Five power, two top spin boost. And I was using a zero win so I could get all of it. And I'm not sure if that's enough wind today. with two top spin instead of five. That's gonna be, if it makes it, it's gonna be, it'll clip the rough and roll onto that surface. Nope, it's in the drink. And there's Max, there's mid club. Nine point eight divided by one point or excuse me eight point four four rings four point one rings 
There's four, one. I'm going to do a little. Whew. It's going to be close. Isn't it perfect? It's going to be close. I'm not sure. It's close. Woo! In the hole. Look at that. Looky, looky. <laughs> That is the deal. <laughs> that is it right there. Got my sunglasses on now. If I was him, I'd just switch to a ball. You got the deal, dude. Why waste that good ball? You just wasted another one. <sighs> good luck in the tournament. In the hole. I'll be. All right. Picked it up. Got I picked up something in the middle section. What can we do? What can we do on hole number seven? I I I didn't play yesterday at all. My wife's birthday was on Friday, so we had a bunch of stuff there, but we actually to get all of the family together, we had our birthday party and all that stuff yesterday. All right, this is another hole. Let's see which way the wind's blowing. I'm not sure in pro. I'm not sure in pro. My notes. I've been playing these holes pretty conservatively up to this point, so I didn't have to waste any good balls. So I've been hitting like out to here and just taking the shot, and it's super easy to get out to here. You can start off on this side, but I'm not sure in pro, if I bring out a big enough ball, can I get over, I think, even if I could just get to right here with my big topper, I can get quite a bit of distance to get out to here in the worst case. If I brought out a um, top spin boost ball, it might be, uh, but I can't remember where I can get to out there, so let's practice this hole. Let's see what my drive options are. I'm I have like I said I haven't been playing aggressive on these because I I don't have the ball inventory to play every every round. We could put ourselves in a pretty good spot here, maybe. I know the. I know it seems like it's when we have due tailwind. Like if we had a eight mile an hour tailwind, it shut. It seems like it's pushing it forward like twelve or sixteen, especially when you're doing overpower. Like it's way pushing it forward. Give okay, the five power ball. I, that is it. Just out to the end. see what I have. I do have a four power two top spin boost ball. I could bring out. What are my options here? Let's see what that looks like. It does get me pretty nicely up there. I I would be hesitant to use, like it looks like I have six miles an hour wind, but like I need to like pull out the wind and then it'll still push me forward a couple rings to get me up in there. But it's definitely not gonna push me over. Let's see how far I can get with a uh, with just a three power ball. If I was playing in my 77 account, right here is a great opportunity for the big topper because at this moment in time, until my Thor's hammer or my apocalypse gets to level seven, it has 230. It doesn't hit as far, but it does have 100 topspin. It's 
bring a Titan. Mm, okay. We'll bring a Titan. Now I'm going to leave the wind in. And it looks like I have like 12 miles an hour. And we'll see how close I get. And I'm not going to do any overpower. Isn't it perfect? And we'll see how far, how close I come to the tip. Look at how I damn near. So I'm saying it pushed it forward almost double. So with a three power ball, you got about 12 miles an hour in front of you. Take whatever the wind is and double it. So if you had an eight mile an hour wind, you'd be 16. You can leave 12. I would only leave 10 in. Take six of it out. Otherwise you'll overshoot it. That shot from right there might be like it might be it might not be worth the extra skin to get the extra little distance. I'm gonna take a straight up shot. No, wherever I'm at. I'm in my thorn. I'm in men. Men thorn. Minimum thorn. I think it's like three five, three seven. Six point nine divided by three points. One point nine rings. I'm gonna do two. Isn't it perfect? That was wind plus one, and the plus one almost cost me. That might not be bad just to get to that spot. All right, that's what I'm going to do. That way I don't have to bring it. That way I don't have to burn a big ball. In the hole. Was that the hole? Damn it. I didn't mean to play the hole. Did I not? Okay. Whew. Seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I didn't play that. Was that practice? Jeez. All right. Whew. I looked at that for a second. I thought I screwed up and, and didn't go into practice and got lucky that I ended up making that shot. Jeez. It scared me like that. All right. Let's look at it one more time. Let's look at my ball inventory one more time. Let's see if I have... I took a three power ball. Power. I do have a three power precision ball. We'll knock the wind down a little, that might help. Okay, I'm gonna take that ball right there and take a straight up shot to the cup with that bag that ball here we go here we go Captain America extra mile max top spin I'm going to just leave all that wind in. Oh, and I fucking still hit it great. That'll end me up in the rough. Damn it! A perfect, like, it, the... F you hit it great to the right, you're running out of fairway. The fairway's curving in to the left, and you're it's cutting in front of you. Rat bastard. Stay in your own lane. <laughs> do you know what's easier for the greenskeepers when you do straight lines? Jeez, come on, man. Damn it. All right, I got a killer shot from right here, even, even from right here. All right, at club. The wind divided by at club. 
and I should be shut maybe quarter, maybe quarter. Definitely, I think I'm going to be like in the eight per ring range. My opponent is in the clear. I got the nice shot. That's going to be like mid to max short iron. Okay, where's max? There's max. There's mid. I'm in the eight per ring range. Four point two divided by eight. Half a ring. It's point five two, so there's five. I do half isn't it perfect just like plus point one right there I if I would add the point one on I I did round it up and was trying to do the six but I should have did uh if I'd have did the point seven that would have been it Arr! Still had a shot and that precision ball does make that i will tell you that that is if you're in those areas where your your fail point is a rough area and you're you really got a shot at it from there bringing a precision ball helps you even in the rough i gave it the shot okay i didn't i i did not pick up that hole now this last hole I want to practice this last hole because I, I think I've been bouncing off the island and I really would rather do the rough bump. But I'm not sure what I got to do to do the rough bump. Perfect. My opponent in the hole? In the hole! That is... Nice, sweet, perfecto. People are dropping shots left and right. I probably should clear a slot. I probably have won a couple and haven't had any place to put them. Let's go clear something, clear some slots. He's clear too. Let's clear. Let's clear a couple. Get that one rolling. I think I already lost a couple chests right there. That's that's disappointing. It's just the accumulation of cards. We're farmers. Let's make sure I don't have. In one game, hit a successful perfect putt. Shit, that'll probably take me forever. To I probably won't get that one. Ha ha. Ha ha. Hole number seven. All right, what is? Let's go look at hole number seven. That is the one. Okay, I'm on hole number eight. I was like, what in the hell? We just played that. We, I, I think we just played it. Hole number eight. All right, I do need to practice this because I, I am... Um, Practice. Let's make sure we see practice, 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 practice. It seems to me that I've been hitting it. My notes say sniper, nav, mid club, plus zero to the cup. But I'm not so sure if I didn't bring out the right ball, I couldn't hit. I might be able to get my sniper and do the rough bump at max club or a driver. Now I'm not going to be able to, if I'm in, if I'm taking a navigator and I'm in mid club, I'll have to bring out a bigger ball. Yeah, I'd have to bring out, oh shit, 
That's a three power ball. And that's barely getting me there. So if I bring out a zero power ball, that barely gets me. That barely gives me enough room. But I think that shot right there is the one. What is that? That's minimum rock. Minimum rock. 1.3 per ring. Okay. And I'm going to just take a straight up shot. Whatever the wind is. Whatever the wind is divided by 1.3. That's what I'm going to do. Right there. Shit, I don't know that I need to put any spin on it at all. Yeah, a little. I want to be, I'm going to try and be like two rings into the rough. I'm going to try and give myself, because of the angle on the left hand side where the wind's blowing, I'm going to try and give myself two rings on that side because the way the rough is rolling right over here is it's coming, it's coming like this. And so I'm going to be pulling in this direction and where I'm setting up right in this area, I'm going to try and give myself two rings before I get to that curvature. I've been, I'm pretty sure I've been hitting off the island, but... And that shot is going to go awry to the right. All right, here we go. Here we go. Six, 4.61 rings. Four point six one rings. There's four six one. Oh fuck, and that was seven thousand rings great. That was two rings great to the left. Man, it's almost like I needed to take some wind. Hold on one second. It's almost like I needed to. Do an extra five percent. I might, I might need to add on just a titch. Let's try that one more time. Let's try it one more time. Hold on. All right, I'm back. Whew. Man, I talk to a man about a horse right now. All right, let me look at this hole. Okay, I'm gonna take my rock again, and I'm at minimum club. I just hit that one two rings great, but where I ended up was like one ring great so I think I need to add on 10% I'm gonna I'm gonna practice that one more time I'm gonna practice it one more time all right let's practice that one more time I'm gonna do 1.1 times whatever the wind is divided by 1.3 that's where I'm at and let's see if we can hit this one perfect can we try please Come on, man. Let's get somebody. Let's roll. The Halloween. I remember the first how The thing I don't like about this type of year, this time of year with these tournaments is they change the color scheme. And I was talking to my buddy Kyle and he plays on Apple devices and he's like, you know, it doesn't really bother him. But like some of these colors with... Like these, this right here is not too bad, but when they do the yellow, like, man, some of these colors, especially with some clubs, like if you're using an Epic and you're looking at the purple line on the deal, it's hard to see it. Or with the rares on the, the gold on the yellow, some of it is hard for me to, and I'm not colorblind, I can see the colors, it's just they blend together.
All right, let's see if we can hit this perfect. Let's do the wind first, whatever the wind is. I got the equation set up, I'm ready. 7.7, 6.5 rings. Hitting it perfect. Get in the hole. Let's be close. Just a little micro adjustment and we'll play it. All right, I over pulled it with the 10, so I just need to do a zero. Just wherever I'm at in my club, right there. Whatever the wind is, divided by 1.3. All right, we got it. And I'm not so sure I shouldn't be taking a little wind off. In the hole, all right. All right, all right, all right. We are ready, ready. All right, here we go. Whatever the wind is, divided by 1.3. Let's make sure, I, I know that I don't have any in this account, but let's just make sure I don't have any low power. That's it. That's it. I don't have any. I was seeing if I had any of the low power, low wind balls, but I don't have any. I don't have any. Micah. Here, Micah goes first. Micah's doing the shot over with the sniper. And I'm pretty much, I like to start about where Micah likes to start, where I am full, my white ring is, I'm a full five rings away from the edge, the transitional surface for the rough. Isn't it perfect? Just a bit outside. Just, just a bit. Whatever the wind is, divided by 1.3. Six, 4.6 rings. Six rings. And there's four six. And there's perfect. Now all we need is for it to fall into the cup. Might be, might be, might be. Woo! In the hole. Look at that. Lucky, lucky. Awesome. That's what I'm talking about right there. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. All right, what is our next hole? Hole number eight. Hole number eight. What is hole number eight? Um, is... Um, hole number nine. I was going to say, geez, didn't we... I, I hope that we just played that hole. Hole number nine. All right, I got an Albi on this. In one of my accounts that I get, it was 77, I think. I got an Albi on it in the opening round. It's possible. Let's think about getting... Now, I gotta. I want to take some deep breaths on this hole because this is a hole that, in the past... Like, normally I come out on holes and I don't have any nervousness at all. Like, I... I have kicked that hole's ass. Like that hole might have kicked my ass a few times, but overall, I'm way in the front. But this hole right here in tournament play, 
as hole number nine, I've had several tournaments where this hole has caused me some problems. So I have a huge amount of respect for this hole, but I don't want to have too much for it. We still want to try and get, we have a great shot if we can get out into this area to come at it. Now in Rookie, the shot to the cuff is actually minus 10% to the cup. And here on my notes, I've got minus five to the cup. And I haven't brought out anything. I've been hitting it with a power three ball and it seems like with a power three ball, you've, you've got to do max overpower. I think even with a power five ball, we'd probably have to do max overpower. But I think with the power five ball, you have a lot more leeway. Let's, let's look, let's looky looky at the wind. That wind is, so when we think about how we're orientated to the hole, the wind's blowing, the wind's blowing like this direction across the course. So when we're out here, our second shot to the cup, we're going to have, our second shot's going to be out here and the wind's going to be coming in like this. So we can pull, we've got sand, so there's a rough area and there's sand. And we don't have to involve the sand with our pull. But this is one of those ones where you're taking wind off. And if you get that wrong and you under pull it, it's just going to push you into the sand. So you really want to make sure that you know what that wind adjustment is. With I think in the opening round, the wind was more like side wind through here. And so you could have a little bit of fluctuation in your adjustment. You could get your adjustment wrong and you'd still end up hitting the rough. And if I remember correctly on the, on the shot that I did, like I centered up and then I ended up hitting like if here's the edge of the rough and here's or where the sand is and here's the outside edge. I was dead center in the middle and I was half of that. So like a quarter. <clears throat> I almost think I need to practice it. Really want to get this hole right. Let's practice it one time. Let's practice. I haven't brought out any big stuff. So let's see what we can get done with big stuff to get in the right spot and maybe not have to take as many risks on the drive. I think from the pro tees, we have to take a risk on the drive no matter what. I think that's just the way it works. I might be able to bring out a power five ball and get over without doing any overpower, but I, I don't think so. And this is another one of those holes too that tailwind carries the ball forever in a day and headwind pushes up against it <laughs> like you're hitting a brick wall. almost pure side went on the drive yeah I think no matter what we got to do overpower man they barely made that bounce barely <laughs> yeah, that was close. Yes. <laughs> that was very close. It works, though. That works. All right, let's see what we have. Let's see what my options are here. Let's bring out, let's bring out just a normal Power 5 ball and just see, like, what kind of raw can I get over without doing any overpower. I can with a regular power five ball. That way I don't have to do anything super special. Try and keep it try and keep it straight up. I'm gonna take it with a power three right here, but I'm gonna bring a power five for the shot. Do six. Right along the red line. Oh, and I'm gonna get caught in the rough. On the other side, for sure. Oh, that's that's awesome. Awesome. I usually put a lot more curl on that 
and the, what happens when you put more curl on is you can avoid the shot, the rough to the left every time. But what it does do is if you hit two rings great to the right, it pushes you, it tails you off into the rough right there on the corner. But I took that shot right there and I didn't have a lot of curl on it. I don't normally like to take shots without some curl. When you're doing overpower stuff like that, because if you want to go to the right, you need to make sure you put a little bit of curl in there so that no matter what happens, even if you hit it three rings great or good, the ball's still wanting to go to the right because you put that curl on. All right, I'm going to take, <clears throat> I'm going to do just a minus five. 7.5 times 0.95 divided by wherever I'm at in my club. Here's max. Here's min. There's mid. Divided by 1.1. Six and a half rings. There's five, six and a half. Isn't it perfect? Man, that was right where I was aiming to. Fuck, doesn't it look like I over pulled that? Where I was where it hit though, there on that bounce. I don't think I had enough I don't think I had enough spin. Like there was some headwind right there and I it I was in the right spot and pulled it right, but my spin was wrong. I should have had it a little bit farther through the cup. Alright. But he gotta hit that perfect though. Jeez. Gotta hit it perfect. There is a way to go at it. You can go at it with your sniper from the side. And you have a really good run at it from over there as well. Let's think. Let's think. We can bring a power five ball. Now, here's the deal. A power five ball is going to definitely put me in a different... I was in mid-club right there. Shit. If I get... I might be in, like, minimum club. Let's look at what I have for balls for power five. Power five. Power pinned. Power... What I really need to do is hit it perfect. That is the deal. I have one of these balls. That might work right here. I don't have any power five precision balls, but th this might be a spot. I have some power threes, but with this wind, I don't know if I want to do a max overpower shot there. did it with a Titan a second ago. We're going to do it right here. We're going to do it again with a Titan. With, a, with basically a three power ball. There we go. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. If I can get an opponent, can I get an opponent? Maybe. Ed goes first. Should put my perfect glasses on. I got my perfect glasses on now. See if I can. Let's see if they actually make it so I can hit perfect. Perfect. My opponent hit perfect. All I got to do is do exactly what my opponent did. That is not where they wanted to be. But I think from there, as far up as they are, they can recover.
three three. Actually, I'm going to take this with. Let's reset that shot up. Three and a half. Isn't it perfect? Let's see if I can just get over to the other side. I think it's going to clip. It is. Stop! Now from here, I'm definitely going to have a long or a wood shot and I'm going to have to run a little bit of top spin. So what I'll have to do is start off on this fairway right here and then use my side spin to try and bring my tail back over to the cup. That dog will hunt right there. That dog will hunt. All right, I still got a shot. It's not the shot that I came here to do, but it's still a shot. And there's Max. So I'm right at Max Club. I'm going to pull back enough. Still had a great. Uh, and it would have been a little short. Well, it might have been a little short. I think it would have been a little short. Err. But the right ball was in the right spot and didn't hit it perfect. Damn it. Damn it, tail. Let's see if I can get in the hole. I haven't even, you know, I will be totally honest with you. And I've done a lot of inspections. And I've, it's like walking around on the outside of your house. And you're doing a bunch of stuff by your windows. And you're just doing stuff. And then, like, if somebody asked you... Like what's going on in the living room? You're like, I don't know, because you're not looking through the window. You're not. You're you're seeing the reflection, or you're not. You're you're letting your eye focus on the deal. And I really have not paid attention to my score. And I shot a 16. That's pretty awesome in pro. That's going to be. There's a bunch of holes out there that I really thought that I I had a shot at that I didn't pick up, and. I think I could replicate that. I think I could. <laughs> I'm in 77th spot. Look at that. That's a perfect spot. Perfect. There's a 14 behind me. I have no idea what's up at the top. So there's a couple 14s right behind me. And a couple 13s right behind me. So, I mean, I think the scores as far as like what we're seeing in pro and rookie... We're still looking. It might be just a little bit lower here, but I still think you're gonna have. I'm gonna have to shoot a 30 plus in order to have any shot. Like if I shot a 30, I might get a banner, but I'm not gonna get a gold. <laughs> but I have no idea. It could be 28. I have. I have no clue. I think with with two 14s right here, there's got to be 15s up at the top or or better. So. I might have put myself in the in the, in the spot. Now I just have to do a run it, get a good back nine. So I will uh, I I will go get a cup of coffee here and I'll play the back nine and we'll see what happens. Thanks for watching. If you're uh, not a subscriber, hit subscribe, hit the like button, ring the bell, leave a comment. Tell me how I'm doing. Tell me how I'm not doing. There you go. Thanks for watching.